Recently I'd gone for a wedding, a virtual one rather than seeing it on Zoom, and I had the most amazing biryani there. I just tasted the gravy. I didn't eat the meat out of it and it was just simply delicious and let's see how to make that biryani. It's called the Malai Sikh biryani. So here I have 750 grams of chicken keema. I'm going to add a tablespoon of ginger paste, a tablespoon of garlic paste, a teaspoon of cumin seeds, a tablespoon of chili flakes, a teaspoon of chili powder, a tablespoon of coriander seed powder, a teaspoon of garam masala powder, one large onion finely chopped, quarter cup of finely chopped coriander, 10 to 15 mint leaves. I'm just going to tear these roughly. A tablespoon of corn flour. Here I have three slices of bread that I have soaked. I'm just going to crumble this in this mixture. Quarter cup of cream. And some salt to taste. Now let's mix this well. Now let's give this a lovely smoky fragrance. I've already lit a coal here. Just going to put this on the mince, take some ghee, put it on it and cover it and keep it for about 5 to 7 minutes. What an amazing aroma. So what we are going to do now is we are going to make the seek and we are going to cook this in ghee on a pan. So I am going to give this mince the shape of a seek. Very simple, just take a handful of this mixture and just roll it. Make it nice and long and even. Try and roll it a little more on the center. And now what I'm going to do is just melt some ghee. Just place this on the pan. So these kebabs won't take more than 10 to 15 minutes to be ready because it's finally chicken mince that cooks really fast. So you put it on the pan, fry it in ghee on one side for 5 minutes, flip it over, cook it for another 5 to 6 minutes on a medium to low flame and your kebabs will be ready. The seek is ready, now let's make the gravy. For that I'm going to heat quarter cup of oil. Now let's add whole spices, 10 peppercorns, 1 inch cinnamon, 1 mace, 2 star anise, 4 to 5 green cardamoms, 4 to 5 cloves and bay leaves. Let's wait for them to release their aroma. And now here I have 3 onions that are sliced. Let's add this and fry them till they are soft and pink. The onions have turned pink and soft. Let's add a teaspoon of garlic paste, a teaspoon of ginger paste. Saute this for a minute. Time to add one tablespoon of coriander powder, a tablespoon of biryani masala. The recipe for this is going to be given in the description, so don't worry. And now I'm going to just mix this and add a cup of yogurt. You can see the oil has separated in a few minutes only. So now let's add some finely chopped green chilies. So here I've taken about 7 to 10 and half a cup of almond paste. So I've soaked about 20 almonds, skinned them and then made a paste of it. I'm going to add this as well. Let's saute this. I have sauteed the almond paste and chilies for about 2 minutes. 
And I'm going to add half a cup of cream to this. Half a cup of grated cheese. Mix this well. Let's add a cup of water to this. Mix this well. Let's add some salt. Give it a final stir and just allow it to boil for a minute or two. The gravy is boiling. Let's shut the flame and then add half a cup of milk to this. Now let's set the biryani. Drizzle a little ghee on the bottom of the vessel and spread it. Smear the bottom really well. So here I have half a kg of boiled basmati rice. I've boiled it just the way you boil it for a biryani. Now I'm going to sprinkle some rice on the bottom. Let's pour half the gravy now. Now let's place the seek kebabs. Now let's put half the quantity of rice. Spread it evenly. Drizzle some saffron water. Some ghee. Let's add the remaining gravy. Let's add the remaining kebabs. Let's top it up with the remaining rice. Let's drizzle the saffron water, some ghee. Let's sprinkle some mint leaves. Now let's put this pot on a dump for 15 to 20 minutes. So I'm going to just put a fabric on this. This will help to retain the moisture and soften the rice further. Seal it with a lid. Just let's put this on the top so that it doesn't catch fire. And on a very low flame, we're going to give this a dum for almost 15 to 20 minutes. We kept this biryani on a dum for 15 to 20 minutes. And it's ready to be served. Let's remove it in a serving bowl. The Malai Sikh Biryani is ready to be served. It's an easy, delicious recipe. Do try it. Let me know and keep watching. Get curried. Ta-da!